Well, Birmingham, here we come. Uh, excited about going to Birmingham Bowl when Coach called yesterday to make it official. Um, it was great news. And right before I met with, we met with the team, uh, first time we've seen the team since Thursday, Thursday's game. But looking forward to the challenge of playing Florida. Uh, Will, I've know, known Will since who, Texas days and before. Uh, he's recruited well. Uh, very talented defense, very talented, a lot of speed on this team. Watching, getting, getting a chance to get their film in last night and watching some of it. Uh, it's our eighth bowl game here in East Carolina in nine years, our fourth in our five years being here. So it's an exciting time for all of us. The players were excited to hear the, hear the news when we told them. Um, uh, the staff is excited. They're on the road recruiting right now. Um, just dove into it quickly. Uh, the young guys are breaking down the film. The coach will be back on uh, Friday evening. We'll start practicing, preparing on Saturday a little for uh, getting into our bowl prep game being January 3rd. We have a lot of time to get uh, our guys sharp and maybe get some guys back that were banged up. Been at the game is a little bit later. Um, and uh, I'll keep you updated as, as we go further, uh, uh, get along further in the practice. And, uh, I'm proud of the where we are right now with the program and um, excited about it. Uh, Florida's going to be a tough. Like I said, they got a lot of talent, a lot of speed, and we'll get more into scheme on them uh, as we get, get, on to, uh, get on to it. Uh, let me also quickly address our last game and our last team. Uh, and uh, it's tough for us and tough for me for the seniors. I, I, I didn't sleep from, from Thursday till today. And uh, because it was this team has gained my respect, how they carry themselves, how hard they work, and they've done everything I've asked. Uh, it was a tremendous game. I know watching the film was tough, but guys fighting back after struggling for three quarters against this team and fighting back, coming back in the and and uh, in that fourth quarter was it was just re really tremendous. I saw Lincoln's comments today, and that's uh, Lincoln's a class. That's why I love him. And it's more than coaching. It's a class act, but all decisions rest with me. And, and um, we, we make the best decisions uh, at that time. And, uh, but uh, I appreciate Lincoln and, and doing that. But uh, uh, after last night, dressing that team, looking at those boys' eyes, we're ready to move on and get ready for Birmingham. We got three weeks exactly to get ready for them. Uh, big, big part of recruiting for us right now, trying to get some guys in here at mid-year. Uh, so it's a fun time. Looking forward to uh, playing one more time for these seniors. Looking forward to preparing with these seniors. Uh, looking forward to competing against a, another SEC school uh, who's on our schedule for next year as well. Uh, again, uh, I know how Will recruits. I know how Mac, who got the job, I've known Mac for a long time as well too. So I know he'll be at the game observing and the staff as well. So, how big is that? well, I, I think it's, it's big, very big. I let Coach speak too, but I, I thought it was big. Um, uh, first, going at bowls are big for. And I've said this before. All I've been in it so long, and when you don't go, you, you miss them. And the year early, and I we we plan on, and I've said it before. Uh, it, Practicing when it's cold. I know Nick and I've talked, and, and uh, when you practice and when you when it's cold, you know you had a good good year. And uh, uh, my mom, my angel, she she would say, "Tough, are you coming home?" Uh, uh, with Christmas, I said, "Mom, if I come home, that's not a good year for Tuffy." You know, so and she said, "What do you mean?" I said, "That means I'm not in a bowl game." Oh, okay. So, but uh, I'm excited and about. Uh, Going to one, but also excited about being able to play another Power Five team, like you mentioned. Early and I were. We did two uh, elementary schools today, and uh, a lot of ECU Pirates teaching in those schools. And I know every teacher and some of the kids they already planned on going. So we'll we'll take a. That was funny. I did first, third grade. There were about 700 of them. And wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and cuties though, but. Uh, a lot of them already plan on going. Uh, we always do. I mean, I, uh, um, I think, and I know uh, we got Nick and Coach and and Shelly and Tom has been here and Harold. But I've always thought we travel well. I think that that that's what makes us an attractive university for a bowl game. I mean, we uh, our fans, uh, uh, 
entire nation gets another chance to to to, to show us support. And I'm, we've we had I can't talk too much about, but we had recruits in on official visits, and they our crowd was unbelievable, and um, helped really seal some deals. You know, so I know we'll we're still getting the logistics of when we're leaving and and now, but. It uh, it'd be good to go down there and play again. And uh, I know it's uh, the bowl has grown. I know uh, meeting uh, just a little bit briefly with JJ yesterday. They hotel, all those are gonna be first class and nice like that. But looking forward to preparation. Looking forward to playing. Looking forward to going down and and uh, and, and play another time. Playing again. I really am. I'm excited about it. I'm pumped. I'm trying to hold back a little bit, but I'm I'm fired up, ready to go. Well, like I, I explained it after the game, uh, uh, to one, one you don't want any, any ball exchanges. You don't want to exchange the ball. Yeah. We, you want to take a knee, run clock out like we did, but you don't want to throw the football. You don't want to risk a kick because this team had blocked uh, one extra point earlier. So, you know, they beat us on a hail mary, <laughs> you know, which doesn't happen. I mean, we've had it, we've had it happen, but that's very rare. So, uh, we made the best decisions as a staff. Like I said, rest with me, and uh, communication is always good. I communicate with Rick and Lincoln and Kirk during the games. I have the ability to communicate to all three of them. But it's tough. I think it's both games a chance for our seniors to leave on the right foot, uh, right way. They've gained, uh, hopefully, everyone's respect. Uh, our staff has worked extremely hard this year. Uh, our players have done everything, and these guys, for their career. And I think it gives us a chance to play again with this group who, like I said, I know they've earned my respect, and I, I, I would think and gather to think they've earned Pirate Nation respect. You, 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 would you say that was pretty accurate? Sure. Um, we, we've, we, we've kept every, for 15 years, uh, the, the the one year we didn't, but we still had it. We've kept every bowl game, Lincoln and I, every bowl game. We got a packet for every bowl game scenario. Um, uh, we played the Alamo Bowl close to this time. We played the Gator Bowl, uh, Virginia versus Virginia. I, just, I want to say not a Cotton Bowl, but I can't remember. We had about three that we have based our schedules on. So, like this period here is a period for two get those old guys, some nicks and bruises, but at the same time, let Coach C get them back in the groove that way. Uh, Saturday, we'll start and we'll begin. And we've got a, a method where we have what we call varsity shorts. And then there'll be some full practices. But doing varsity shorts, it would be a chance for us to get our young guys. Uh, we'll, we, it's a great advantage to go to a bowl game because you get a chance to work those young cats. And we've got a plan for that. They'll, get, they'll be able to get, uh, we think we measured up, six to eight possible scrimmages in, you know, of young guys. So we'll get a chance to develop those guys that we red shirt, some of those guys that we count on playing, some guys that are right here behind some older guys, we'll get those guys some reps too. Um, hopefully get some guys back uh, from injury. But it, I love the time. I love the, the time we have here. Uh, and then, like I mentioned before, because of recruiting for our staff, <clears throat> we had planned to go out because we didn't know which bowl, like Coach just mentioned. So we had planned on maybe getting back Thursday, maybe Wednesday, but now we can get a full weekend because it goes what they call dead period pretty quick here. So for us recruiting-wise, it was big. You know, I'm going to get a chance to, to go some places here this afternoon, uh, some place on Wednesday and possible Thursday, get a chance to get out. and see some kids, meet some parents, and talk to some mamas. You know, all, I, at first, when to have people of our staff, and ever since you've been here, uh, people have come out there, our staff, you know. Uh, some coaches call me first, you know. Uh, and But my guys have always come to me once they get anything. They've never done, that's the loyalty part. That's the trust part. That's the ver verification of trust part. Uh, because I'm never going to hold one back, you know. Uh, so I have not heard anything from them. But I think it's a credit and tribute to our program. So 
none of the staff have come to you saying that people, teams have shown interest in them yet? No, not yet. No. But I wouldn't tell y'all that. I love y'all. <laughs> I ain't, ain't tell y'all that. No. Nah. Nah, they, they, they've all, always come to me, you know, and that's the respect that I have. Because they know I'm never going to do anything to hurt them. Uh, you know, I don't want to lose them. I think staff continuity is the key. Just like today when Erlina out at, you know, signing, reading, reading to young kids, the guys are scattered. You know, I know where they are. They know where I am. I'm on call waiting to go where I'm going next this afternoon when I leave you guys and girls and ladies. Uh, that's from continuity of being together and understanding, you know. So that only comes with that. And so I appreciate that, but I haven't heard anything. No, most people do call, you know, like if when I – had to hire, I would call, you know. So, so that's the protocol. Well, one of the things I think is the, when I go into a home, the first thing I do is I address the family atmosphere here, not just within the football program, but within the whole athletic department, but whole university. And then I talk about it's not academics first, it's making sure the environment is right for them when they come here. Academics is second, but the first thing we address is making sure that environment is right for that young man and making sure we bring in people who are enthusiastic, uh, hardworking, ambitious, have courage, uh, positive. And then we talk the academic, and I can talk, and I have to read a book to do it, and how resources are going to be, how academics is, academics is emphasized at the highest level here. Then we talk about the football part. Coach mentioned that we play at the highest level. I mean. Uh, Two ACC teams this year, SEC team, our second one coming up. Our conference is, is one that going through it for the first time, you see the difference. Uh, and I'm not being negative on anything, but the difference is you know, in this, this league. I mean, there are some talented teams. It's a fun league to coach in. Uh, so uh, they see us, and a lot of kids have seen us on national TV quite a bit. Come here, you come up to a bowl game. I'll be your daddy when you come here. Your coaches will be your uncles. Um, we're going to push you hard, but we're going to love you harder. You get a chance to get your degree. You're going to leave here a better man, and you're going to play great football and have the best student athlete experience possible. How do I know? Because I've lived it. Want to sign? <laughs> I'm getting in tune. You see me getting a little, you got me? You getting crazy? You got, yeah, I'm get, yeah, want some, get some. Y'all good? Thank you.